Hi, this is Joy from Speed Hut. We're going to be installing an uh, oil pressure gauge on a 2005 Subaru Impreza STI. Alright, so first we're going to remove the alternator belt cover. And next we're going to loosen the belt that goes to the alternator. Alright, so I'm going to remove next the alternator mounting bolt and it's 12 millimeter. Alright, the next thing you're going to want to do is just remove the belt off the alternator. You don't need to take it all the way off. And then you're going to want to loosen the alternator pivot bolt. Make sure when you're moving this that you don't drop this bracket in the back. Next we'll get the fuel lines out of the way if you have aftermarket fuel lines. And then you can just lift the alternator up and we'll come right out. Alright, now since, since we have the alternator removed, we can access the original oil pressure switch for the dummy light on the dash. The first thing you want to do is just unplug the top of the sensor. And we already have it loose, so I can just loosen the sensor itself off the adapter. Oh, looks like the adapter is loose, so let's take the adapter out with it. But you can see here, here's the adapter, and then here's the sensor. Just a dummy switch for the oil light on your cluster. All right, so here is the Speed Hut um, oil galley adapter fitting for all EJ engines. Let's thread this in first. 17 millimeter socket, tighten that down. Now we'll take the oil pressure sensor that comes with your oil pressure gauge, just thread it right in. The wrench you'll use on that is an 11 16th. All right, so we already have the harness routed in the engine bay under the intake manifold. So let's plug it into the sensor. And now we can get the alternator back installed. Now we're gonna reinstall the alternator. Just install it the opposite way that you took it out. All right, so we already have the PSI harness routed through the firewall, so I'm just gonna stick it up underneath the dash towards the cluster where I have the gauge pod, and pod installed. All right, so I already have the gauge pod installed here. I have a boost gauge that I previously installed on the right-hand side. I have a little pressure gauge here. We'll first stick the oil pressure gauge inside the pod. All right, so we already have the gauge installed in the pod here. Uh, first, we're going to go, we're going to plug in the power cable. Next, we'll plug in the inverter for the dial lighting. And then last, we'll plug in the harness for the pressure sensor. All right, so now we, since we have all the wires plugged in and everything's ready to go, we're just gonna tuck the wires up behind the dash and then install the pod and we'll be good to go. All right, so now since we got the gauge installed, we're just gonna start the vehicle and make sure everything's functioning properly. Looks like everything's looking good. All right guys, I'm just gonna show you how to program the brightness of the warning light LED inside the gauge. All you're gonna do is press the button once, it'll flash indicating that you're ready to change it, and you'll press the button to toggle through the brightness settings. And right now, just for filming purposes, we're gonna leave it at the lowest brightness setting. All right, guys, I'm just gonna show you the peak recall feature of the gauge. All you're gonna do is press and hold the button, 
until it goes to its peak. And it will show you both its high and low peak. So it looks like the low was zero and the high was 90. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how to program the low and high warning zones in our revolution gauges. What you're gonna to wanna to do is press and hold down the button on the face of the gauge, power the gauge on. Once the gauge does its sweep, you'll release the button. You wait for the gauge to drop to zero. And then we'll start to slowly scan clockwise and then you will save it on its new low setting. We'll do it about 15 PSI. And then we'll go to its high. You'll just save it on its high because we don't need a high warning zone. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions about install or anything about our product, please call us at 801-221-1460 or email me directly at tech at speedhut.com and we'll answer any questions. Thanks.